accused of giving the Tsarnaev brothers a gun testified in the bombing trial today, and it was the same gun police say that the Tsarnaevs used to kill MIT police officer Sean Collier. Jim Armstrong is live at the federal courthouse in South Boston tonight with the latest. Jim? Lisa, that witness is a man named Steven Silva. He was one of Johar Sarnaev's best friends going back to elementary school. He was actually, we learned in court today, also his marijuana connection for a great number of years as well. These two guys were so close, however, Silva would say, I love you to Johar when the two would part company. Today, however, here in federal court, Silva glared at him from the witness stand. Until today, we had heard only rumors of a second boat note. This one carved into wooden slats inside the Watertown boat where Johar Sarnayev hid for hours. Today, jurors saw this up close. It reads, quote, stop killing our innocent people and we will stop. It's a sentiment nearly identical to the other handwritten confession of sorts. Today, jurors even saw the pencil Sarnayev likely used to write that one. The boat's owner testifying he left the pencil and all of his tools inside the boat when he wrapped it up for the winter. David Henneberry also telling jurors how he found Sarnayev that day. Quote, I noticed a lot of blood on the deck of the boat inside. That's when I saw a body in the boat. Most of the day, though, was spent with Sarnayev's former best friend, Stefan Silva, who testified he gave Sarnayev the gun, later used to kill MIT police officer Sean Collier and used in the firefight with Watertown police. He recalled being in a high school class with Sarnayev when the teacher asked if terrorism was ever justified. Silva quoted Jahar as saying, quote, American foreign policy tends to be a little hostile to the Middle East, persecuting Muslims. Silva told the jury, though they were very close, Johar never introduced him to his older brother, Tamerlan. Quote, he said his brother was very strict, very opinionated, and that since I wasn't a Muslim, he might give me a little for that. But Silva is a troubled witness. He's currently locked up on a host of other charges, and under cross-examination, he admitted lying to prosecutors. When asked why he was testifying, he also admitted, quote, I'm hoping to get the best deal I possibly can. His defense attorney also in court today. During the many interviews, he may have shaded some things, he may have not told everything, but in the end, he did. In the end, he told uh, the truth. Silva's off the stand now, so at this point, it's really just up to the jury in this case to decide, frankly, how much they believe him and how much weight they'll give to his testimony. Lisa? I'm curious, Jim, what else was Silva saying today on the stand about Tamerlan Tsarnaev? Well, he tried to, well, I should say that the, when he was cross-examined, uh, the defense attorney, Miriam Conrad, tried to get a lot out of him because, of course, the whole basis of this defense is that Johar was essentially led around by Tamerlan, convinced to do everything up to and including the marathon bombing. Uh, there were times, it seemed, that Silva posted, for example, on his Facebook page, I don't think Johar could do this. I think his brother's leading him around. There were also some text messages uh, during which Silva expressed the same ideas. But every time Miriam Conrad tried to bring them up, the government would object, saying it's inappropriate to talk about Tamerlan in this phase. So there was definitely that dynamic between the two brothers that the jury heard about. But they were asked, of course, when the objections were sustained, to sort of forget it and put it out of their minds. Whether or not they'll be able to do that, I guess we'll see shortly. Almost sure to come up in the sentencing phase. All right, Jim, yeah. thank you.